and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast, where we talk about the rise of Nintendo and what this great gaming franchise has in store for us in the future of gaming, and of course, the country from which it was born, Japan. I'm your host, Judah Terry, and I'm joined, as always, with my co-host and good friend, Rowan Fern. Rowan Fern, welcome back to the studio, Hello. mate. You've recovered from your, your, your perilous journey through illness. Yes. How are you doing, man? Oh. How's it been? How's it? It's better than it was last week. Last week, I was, my nose was blocked, oh. sore throat, everything. Everything. It was so bad you couldn't even record. It was. <laughs> no. uh, I mean, you, you messaged me like a few days before saying like, "Oh, blah, oh I can't do the podcast." Yeah. And it's funny we got we got Eli on to return, and he showed his face for the first Absolutely. time. What are your thoughts, Ryan? What do you think? What do you, well, you already know what he looks like. Actually, you got a sneak yeah, peek. Yeah. I mean, I did. I did know. Yeah. Because yeah, um, you got a, on yeah. your personal Instagram, and you posted a bunch mm. of pictures from when you went to London. Yeah, that and was I, one of them. So. And that was one of them. Me and Eli, and he actually never knew about that because Eli is old-fashioned. He doesn't have any socials. He has no Instagram. He has no nothing. And so I mean, like, that's fair enough, to be honest. It is because like it's social media is just a time drainer. But anyway, yeah, Rowan, <laughs> you've you've recovered. Are you feeling a lot better yeah. now. I think, I think everyone's been getting yeah. ill lately, and I've not been. Yeah, getting, yeah. I've I mean, not got ill. Uh, what's it called? It's coming up to spring. Is that like where, like mm. normally, where people's stuffs come, like things come out? Yeah, it's usually like February, January, when the weather gets colder, right? Everyone starts like just dying of flu, and yeah. and literally everyone was dying around me. Um, like everyone was you, dying around you. Yeah, that's what it felt like. All my mates just went got went ill. Everyone was ill. My sister was ill. Everyone was ill, and then I'm just sitting here like just i'm chill i've not got ill and it's now what almost march now and i'm not ill bro so i think you're I'm, immune to a lot of stuff i, I, I know, need, I know. The, here's the thing right like I, I you need to drink water now i, I heard mm. it on the other podcast you have to drink water yeah it's got it's to you PG. now yeah yeah the are thing you, is is that wait are you drinking water on today's episode <sighs> you're gonna be mad i'm drinking coffee <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a classic, bro. I'm not. I'm doing what I should. I'm not doing you, what I should be doing. So wait, the doctor said you've got to drink water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm just drinking coffee. It's, it's, the thing is, though, it's with me. I just I hate water so much that it's oh, like yeah. a torture to drink a glass of water. And I've had. Right. Listen, I actually have to drink water now. Like I actually have to. And I'm being serious. Yeah. So yes, Rowan. Is correct. I you've heard the news. I need to start drinking water now. Um, <laughs> oh, I have coffee please. with me, but I I must say it is the morning. We're recording this in the morning, and I, I I want to drink the coffee so I can get through this podcast. But don't worry, Rowan. I'm sure I will have some water later. Um, but I, I was, I was just, talking to stay alive. <laughs> just stay alive. Yeah. Imagine I die. What's going to happen? You're going to have to take over the podcast. I should be the R's gaming. We, the R's <laughs> gaming. But Jay's dead. Jude is dead. So if I die. The podcast would just be called Ars Gaming. <laughs> that Ars sounds so bad. <laughs> Ars Gaming. Yeah, JR's just flows. But Ars, yeah. it's just like, what? Same, same if you died, it'd just be Jay's Gaming. <laughs> Jay's Gaming. Jay's Gaming. But yeah, yeah, man, it's... it's, it's um. I just need to drink water now. Uh, and look, I was I, I was telling my grandma about this on, on uh, you know, she lives down in down south in London. I, I live a bit more north of London. So I was I was FaceTiming her uh, this Sunday and I was telling my grandma, I was like, Grandma, I've been defeated. I need to drink water. And then she was just like, yeah. she was like, oh, yes, very important. Drink water all the time. Make sure. Understand- because like, you said you had the first glass of water in two years. Like, how have you yeah. kept going? Not even that, in two, bro. Not in even, like, a, not even yeah. a drop of water in like two years. Yeah, I mean, only like a bit throughout the summer, and that's about it. I've literally not been drinking water at all. I'm 18 years old, and I've just gone through the years without drinking water. It's, it, may, it, is, it does amaze me. Even to, my, to myself, my liver must be just super strong or something. And like, <laughs> I just don't yeah. know. I, I don't know how this is happening. But then again, there is like a scary awareness that like, shit, like I actually need to start drinking water because I'm getting older now and my body won't put up with everything that I'm making it put up with for forever, you know? So do you I'm, find it hard to drink water then? So like when you drink mm, water, do you like gag? Mm, yeah. Quite literally, like when I drink it, I just feel so disgusted. Like this is, it just tastes disgusting. It tastes like it tastes like nothing. Yeah, like for you it does. <laughs> for me, it tastes like loo water. I don't, not that I know what that tastes it like. <laughs> yeah, it Ow. just. It does, and I mean, you you know, we, we live, me and you live roughly near the same area. So the water, yeah. the tap water near us, 
Do you drink that yeah. just regularly? You're like, oh, good stuff. You just like pour that out and do you drink it? I hate then, it. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand. I, I give my hat off to you and Eli and everyone else. <laughs> like, how do you drink water? Yeah. Oh, it's I just it doesn't. I don't taste the difference in any water. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I think bottled water and tap water tastes yeah. the exact same to me for some reason. Yeah, I think most people say yeah, that's the thing with bottled water. I actually like it for some reason. There's there's, there's something in it that just is, I'm like mm, this is bearable. Ooh. Not that I like it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to drink it, but it's just like I would drink get, it over tap like, water. We'll just get like gallons of bottled water then. Yeah, but yeah, I'll have to, I'll probably have to then do that. That's what you're going to have to drink. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that, man. I'm probably going to have to actually have to buy myself bottles of water because I need to actually drink water. I was telling my grandma, though, about Air Up because, yeah, you know, I've been speaking to you. I've been speaking oh, to other, other friends. Yeah. Ever, oh, well, that's great because I need to interview about this. I need to interview <laughs> about Air Up, bro, because, listen, I have never had an Air Up, right? I was, I was talking to some mates about me drinking water and my mate said to me, oh, you should try Air Up. It's like it's a bottle of water, you know, plastic refillable bottle. You put water in it. You buy a sniffer, like a sniffing thing, and you put it you can change yeah. it you can like raspberry you can have blueberry you can choose what you want and it's like, oh yeah you put it inside on the top and then when you drink the water you sniff the fruit sniffer thing on the top whatever it is and you can taste that water and then i was like that sounds yeah. good i was talking to my i was talking to my grandma of course is old-fashioned she loves her water she was like oh i drink it chilled i was like yeah so i said to grandma i said to grandma i said uh i'm thinking of getting an air up and she's like what's that and i was like oh it's uh, basically a, a plastic bottle you put a, I, I explained it in really easy terms so she can understand uh, a fruit sniff on the top yeah. and you sniff the, the the lotion or whatever it is on the top and it transforms the water into that and she was like what is that nonsense that sounds whimsically stupid i was like oh oh she's like no 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 waste of money i was like i was like oh okay grandma um but yeah i mean it is kind of i guess kind of odd for the older generation yeah. like i told my dad about it and he was like what that sounds nonsense but i genuinely am intrigued bro and tell me how an air app works and is it a scam does it actually work well you buy like okay so you buy like the like with when you first buy a bottle i think it comes with like a few pods like mm -hmm. first yeah um and then you put like the pods on the like on the where you drink or where, mm. you, where your nose like goes where you drink yeah and when you drink it apparently you don't even have to like you don't even have to like inhale while you drink it. You, you it just goes into your nose anyway, and you can mm. still taste it. It doesn't. Now here's the thing, yeah. right, Judah. This is gonna make you mad. When I okay. first tried it, I can't lie, I was a bit underwhelmed. Oh. Because what it tastes like, it doesn't taste like a juice drink. It tastes like yeah, um, flavored water is what it tastes like. Mm. It just tastes it's just water with like a hint of peach or a hint of raspberry, but. I mean, I guess it's it's quite good. I mean, it's not. I think it's actually like more powerful than flavored. Like, cause flavored water is like mm. it's all right, but it's not like you know, like the best, right? Yeah. But I think yeah. it's actually better than flavored water. I think it's like. Oh, but yeah. the thing is about them, right? Is you keep have to keep buying pods. Mm, that's what I mean. It will run out. Yeah, it'll see, run out of sniffage. It run out of sniffage. <laughs> so it's like, oh, yeah. I can't smell this raspberry. I need to buy a new one. It's like, yeah. and then so eventually like, you'll be drinking it and you won't be tasting anything, and then you'll have to buy yeah. a new pod. So it's like you have to fill like, your addiction. Quite expensive. Oh like, no! How much are they? How much are they? So, how much are the pods? I think you can get like a pack of like four, and it's like eight quid. Oh my god! So it's just like fulfilling <laughs> my sniffer addictions to fruit sniffing. Like it's not even that. Yeah. Like it, to me, it seems a bit like a. Like, I'm scared that I'll get an air up, which I'm probably actually going to get now, just because I can drink water. So I can drink water, and I'll just be drinking. I'm like, nah, this tastes. This is, this is a scam. I won't taste the cocoa pops, whatever it is, whatever the sniffer thing is. Cocoa pops. I, I don't know. Like, can you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they make a Cocoa Pops one. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Oh, that's a shame, that is. What about um, chocolate milk? Like, can, can you like you have chocolate milk and stuff? Oh, I think there's a coffee one, but it's, it's oh. not going to taste like your coffee. It's oh, gonna yeah. taste, it's My coffee, taste, no. I bet it tastes... I've never had the coffee one, but it's going to taste like really diluted coffee. Oh, no. That, yeah, I actually don't like the idea of that. It's going to taste watery as hell. It, it, it's weird, because it's like tricking your brain into thinking you're drinking actually... But you're not yeah, actually, it's yeah. just plain water. And, and and did it work, Rowan? Did you, if, like, I'm scared, like, if I just take a, a drink that, that out of it, do I need to go, like, mm. and, like, breathe in the, yeah, I, don't need exactly. to, I don't need to, I don't need to I do that as well. That's not, I don't think, I don't think you do. No, I thought you had to do that at first, but apparently yeah. it's, <laughs> like, if your nose is near it, then yeah. It'll, and it'll, and like, it works. It, like, it actually does taste different to it the works, water. but, like, I just, I'm just annoyed that, like, mm. I, like, 
after I think it's a thousand liters of water. I think one yeah. pod can take, and after that, you need to switch it out for another one. So it's like, oh, whoops, this pod's out outdated. Of, and if you run out of pods, yeah. So say you've, you, you, like, it comes with a pack of four, I think. Yeah. If you run out of that four, you have to like go on Aerop's website and get an order like more. It's, order. It's, it's, it sounds like a hassle. So you can't order, go to Asda or not? Drops. Oh, I mean, that's ridiculous. Actually, they might do. I was about to they say, like, I could I tell mum, be like, hey, mum, can you get me some more uh, pods, please? She's like, what? I was yeah. like, I need some, some more pods to fill my e air up addiction. <laughs> more expensive, uh, depending on what the flavour is, I'm pretty sure. It's just such a unique concept. Like, I can't believe yeah, it actually yeah. worked. But Eli was like, just do it the old-fashioned way and just sniff fruit while drinking water. So what do you want me to do? Yeah, like, that works. Like, get, just get, like, some apples and stuff them under my nose and then start drinking... Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Eli. I don't, I don't really like that. I, like, I'm like an absolute tool. If I like get an orange and just like put it next to my nose and then start taking a drink out, I look. I literally look retarded. So yeah, I'd probably yeah exactly. So I might actually just get the air up and I'm have to review. I'll review it on the podcast and be like, this mm. is what air up is. But yeah, Rowan, you found out, man. I need to drink water. It's. <coughs> Yeah. It's, it's not good. But anyway, Ron, how are you doing with COD? You've been telling telling me about a massive... You've been really busy, actually, because you've had a week off this week, right? It's your it's your week yeah. off, college. And we were going to meet, but you're like, nope, I've got a project. So I was like, what's the project, Ron? So would you like to tell us what this big project you're doing, working on? I'm very intrigued. So basically, it's like, <clears throat> you know how um, mm. I said about I'm designing this website mm -hmm. like, for mm. the people? Um, well, this is basically like a prototype. Like you have to like make like make like a little one up first, like yeah, and then you'll move on to like the actual proper one. Oh, so I've been like, nice. I've, mate, I've seen nothing but code for like the last week. Honestly, wow. So you've just been sitting down coding, 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 and yeah. then wow, Maybe, yeah. And and do you think, think yeah. yeah? Do you enjoy it? Do you actually like this? Yeah, is good. I, I do enjoy it. It's just uh, it's a bit stress stressful because. Yeah. Um, mm. This person's like expecting. I mean, all of us are doing it, obviously. Mm. But this person's expecting a website, and we only just started web design, <laughs> so it's kind of a, it's kind of a, um, like oh, we don't know like all all of it. We just know the basics of oh, web design. Man. That's it. So it's like, oh, like, <laughs> you learn some JavaScript, and they're like, oh, now I want you to, to program a computer. Go. I was like, what? What, what exactly. do you mean? And like, <laughs> it's like the I don't know. I don't understand if the if the person like who wants us to make it. I don't know if they. Because mm. they're like from like a, mm. a group, right? And they want their they've come into the college and saying, "Oh, we want we need a website for our like, uh, you know, mm. group." Mm. Um, like it, they they want to make it their official website. You, you, so you oh, know how much pressure that is. Child labor. They're like, "Oh, let's come in, <laughs> make me a website, yeah. go." I was like, well, "What?" But I mean, and, and then you've only got like basic learning and coding. That's that's a challenge. I mean, I'm interested to see yeah, how this website yeah. unfolds, and it's good to see you've been you've been working hard. But the thing with with the with yeah. all this sort of assignments, the, the the more you learn, I think, the more you learn, right? Here's the thing. This is what I find out with learning learning shit, right? When you when you start learning in college, right? What is hard at the moment that will eventually become simple. And then yeah, yeah. it'll become simple, and then the next hard subject will come up. But then that next subject coming up will also become simple. The more you do it, and then and then then before you know it, you can achieve quite a lot of things. You look back and you're like, after over, over a few years of doing coding, whatever, you're like, wow, I'm actually quite good at this. I can do all this stuff, you know. So it's just about yeah. tack tackling each goal as it comes. So oh yeah, yeah. we were also told um. Uh, so you know you've got this new computer, right? Um, mm, I do. It's massive. Did you get it's a keyboard scary. for it yet? I have. Should I? I'll actually. I'll show you. I did get a keyboard for it, man. It's a. It's a glowing one as well. It's a gaming keyboard. I mean, I'm showing the camera people right now. Um, I can. You can hear it, bro. Hang on. Let me. Of course, it's it's not turned on, so you can't see the glowing lights. But listen to this, Ron. Can you hear this? Yeah, yeah. It's proper deep. But yeah, I have got a keyboard. Uh, what, so what brand is it then? Uh, I don't think you're gonna like this, bro. It's an Asda Tech Gaming keyboard. It's an Asda. It's from Asda. It's from Asda, bro. I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I was gonna say though, for for my birthday, right? Because I've not been here since my birthday. I just realised. Oh, don't think oh I have. You, yeah, you've had a birthday since you last came on, bro. We did. We... I'm 17. You are now 17. How was your? Well, oh, hang on. What were you saying about keyboards? Then we'll talk about your birthday. So for my birthday, I got yeah. um, a new keyboard. And oh it's, uh, right! It's a Razer Huntsman Mini. 
That's Ooh, what it's called. Ooh, Razer's Ra- good. Ra- Razer, Razer, Razer's keyboards. I like Razer stuff. Um, yes. Now the thing is, like, I got it mainly because like the R- like the RGB on it, like the lighting is really good. You can have like mm. all these different patterns on it. So at the minute, I've got like a rainbow wave that's Ooh, like animated. Nice. But right now, as we speak, like it's like animated, like the keyboard. Nice. So you can code the 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 lights on it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, it's, yeah. It's got like it comes with like a software, like, and you can like, um, mm. yeah, you can like make your own like. Design, like lighting designs, it's really, it's really good. I've heard, also yeah. got, um, yeah, go on. On. I've, seen, I've heard nothing but good things about Razer. To be fair, it's a very, very yeah. good, very good company. One thing I also got though was um, uh, a punching bag and boxing gloves. Oh, that's a bit out of the ordinary. You got like a keyboard, and then punching bag and boxing gloves. What? Yeah, what's mate. going on? Oh, so you are getting ready for Misfits, are you? Shall I get ready? Shall I, shall, I, shall I go in Misfits? Yeah. The thing is, this is the thing. If I went to Misfits, right? Because I'm yeah. almost eighteen. Yes. Like I'm, I'm 18 in like yet less than a year. Yes. Who was, who's a, an opponent that Ooh. I could box? Because I'm not just going to go and box Jake Paul. Like, I'd get demolished. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, of course. Gonna, <laughs> who am Might I going to box? I think you, sh- you should have your go at um, Master Ugwe. Because he, he, he wastes no time. <laughs> 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 if, you, if you get yeah. your defense gain up, just knock him out. Just punch him in the face and just yeah. knock him out. I think that's I can't like, he, he, yeah. did, he tried, like his boxing match wasn't like that bad. Mm. He was just, um, he, he was just, just rushing in a bit quick. He rushed in a bit. Was. Did you hear the, the, the next sort of rising influencer is Snowy Joe and he's actually being accepted into Misfits. Yeah, but didn't yeah. he want to box Manta? He wanted uh, to box Manta. Box Manta, yeah, because the beef going on with them, which is far, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't think Manta's um, gonna. I don't think Manta's gonna accept. No, nah, Manta's just a pussy. <laughs> 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 and Manta's not gonna do nothing, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll be fair with you, mate. I think, I think that you need to definitely start YouTube because then you can work your way up to Misfits, can't you? Oh start, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but you can you can start Ryan rants. We're still waiting for that first video from you, Ryan. I mean, we so are. Just, yeah. We are. Have you got any idea when you're going to make that yet, or is it all going to be after you've coded a website and then you're going to do probably, a video? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, because the I point mean, it does take up. Bit, yeah, yeah. We have to see. We have yeah, to see. I've got like a list of ideas, video ideas. Mm. We can collaborate as well. I can bring you on my channel as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and remember, you're you're the now the last one in the trio to reveal your face. Eli's joined. Oh, yeah. He's revealed his face yeah. on the podcast and and his YouTube oh, channel now. Well, I, I've been looking at, at like green screens and stuff online, mm. and they are expensive for what they are. Like Ooh, I wanted no. like a collab, you know, like um a collapsible one, right? Yes. Or the one like goes in, you can like pull it. You up can and fold then, like, it, put it in, back yeah. Down. You can fold it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be so handy for my room because you've seen mm. the size of my room. Like yeah. I can't really afford to like bring in a massive green <laughs> yeah. screen that one that's can't collapse, standard. Like. Yeah, but I was looking for a collapsible one. They're, mm-hmm. they're like 70 quid. No, like a, like a, really? Yeah, for the collapsible ones, yeah. That's bloody like expensive. 70 quid. 70 expensive. quid, that's an investment and a half. I mean, I, I guess it's worth it, but you, you you need to read the reviews. Like, you don't want to have like a review say, oh, I, I lifted it up, then it smashed to the ground in seconds and broke. And then it's like 70 yeah, quid down yeah. the drain. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, but collapsible would be so good because you can just shoot it up and then you can turn your camera on. Get a lighting I can pull it up, turn the camera on. When, yeah. when the podcast or whatever I'm doing is done, just push it back yeah. down, and then push it's it just down. not taking up any space. Yeah, so... I, I, need, cause I need something that's not going to take up much space, because yeah. my room is cluttered at the minute. I need to tidy my room. It's cluttered. Oh, man, well, it's, it's always a man cave issue, isn't it? To get that, that oh, clutter. I, I, I think my, I, I have a man cave, honestly. You, you, I like honestly, your man cave, though. It, it, you, it's filled with Nintendo memorabilia. I like all the Nintendo figures you've <laughs> yeah. got in your room. And, and like, it's, so that, yeah. yeah. You've got a little gaming the area. Last, yeah, the little, little game in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the the last thing I wanted to say was uh, I've got back into Minecraft Java Edition specifically. Java Edition, and nice. Thing, if you don't know what that is, it's the it's the one that was made like it's the first version that came out for like yeah. PC. Wasn't that Bedrock the Edition? I'm, I'm a bit. Am I talking out my breath? Bedrock moment. Edition's the the new the newer one. For, oh, like, okay. Bedrock's the, the new one. Stuff. So Java, Java. One was, like the OG. But the thing mm. is about Java is there's so much you can do with it. You can put loads of mods on it. I've been like testing out loads of mods. It's so fun, honestly. Ooh. You need to you need to get Minecraft for your new computer. But with your beast PC, you could yeah. run like oh yeah loads of stuff on it. I know. I know you're definitely jealous of my PC. And it's, oh yeah, yeah. Like Eli, Eli said he's, he's envious of it. I think I've got like I said to you, I've got yeah, uh, I've got a, I've got a decent I've got a decent PC. It's, yeah, you've got a decent uh, one. GTX what? 1050, but I'm, oh, I'm hoping nice. to upgrade to a, a 1080 or something because 1080 is like a good graphics card. I think it is. 1080 is good. 1080. You do realise? Yeah. yeah, that's that, that's good. Mine's a 4060. 
Um, hey, you've got a better PC than like most YouTubers. Yeah, I, I, look, I looked up. I, I looked up Leo Ludwig, who's the biggest, one of the biggest streamers Ludwig, on the world. Yeah, yeah Ludwig. He, I've got a better, better PC than him. He's got an RTX 26, 20, no, 2030. Exactly. <laughs> I like, I looked like, up Kai Sinat yeah. and, and Nitro Speed. They've all got lower PCs than me. I'm like, what What are you doing? Like, how have I got some beast? But speed can, <laughs> speed should, surely speed can can afford, like... Yeah, yeah of course like, he can. You know, he can, it's, he can. He could afford the best. I mean, the only one, the only streamer that's, I think, who's topped me is C Dog VA, and he's got an RTX 1490. So oh, yeah, but 49 is like the best possible graphics. Yeah, card. so I've got second to the best. So yeah, funny. And I've, I've yeah, got two I terabytes mean... SSD, um, very yep. fast. It never goes ten percent over the processor. I've got all the specs. It's very, very, ex very expensive. Well, about three k my PC. Very expensive. Um, yeah, it, it's, um, it's used for coding. Into... Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, so perfect for you if you ever get my sort of PC. This is for coding. So yeah, all... I think <clears> I'm gonna. Um probably build my way up to that pc that's why i mm. like pcs because you can like, just get a better instead of getting a whole new pc i can just get a better because I, I want a better graphics card for it like a 1080 ti or something yeah like a like a 1080 ti i mean the more the also 80, something like that. when you get when you get an also a good income as well you can put a savings account like and save up for this sort of stuff like you can buy and upgrade your pc um so like better. Yeah, that's what. At the minute, I've got a, at the minute, I've got two hundred pounds just lying about that I don't know what to do with. So that's I good. Save up saving, for like yeah, saving. Parts. Very nice. Very nice. Well, um, slightly moving on though, Ryan. How was your How was your birthday? How does it feel to be seventeen? How does it feel <laughs> no to be different. seventeen? No, no different. different. Yeah. I it's... like I heard like Elijah say like it doesn't. He's turned twenty and it doesn't feel any different. Like I don't feel any different either. Mm, I know it's it's. I'm nineteen in April, bro. Someone save me! Like I'm. Oh. As, as soon as you catch up, I go higher. <laughs> I'm eighteen right now, exactly. and it's like it feels just April, like. Well, you're nineteen in April, yeah. aren't you? <clears throat> yeah, I'm nineteen in April. So twenty second of April is my birthday, and uh, yeah, I, I'm hopefully going to do. I'm hoping to have you round. We're going to go to the aquarium. It's funny, Ooh. every time I have my birthday, Ryan, you come over and we do like an adventure. Yeah, yeah. We go somewhere. An adventure, like, yeah. yeah. For my 18th, me and you went to a West Midland Safari Park. Go check it out, <laughs> lovely place. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were thinking there, of what happened that day. That that guy that was like got scammed yeah, by the super yeah. giant Mario. Yeah. Fucking scamming, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's an in-joke between me and Ryan. But yeah, that was a great yeah, time yeah. out. We had fed the giraffes. Hey, we didn't. That guy, we, we told the, the Range uh, the Range Rover driver, whoever it was, I told him that I was like, turning 18. He, he gave us front row seat, didn't he, for free, and gave us yeah, food yeah. for free. We didn't even need to pay. Um, yeah. That was that was really fun, though. I really loved that day out. And then you... Yeah. What did what did you get at the safari shop? You got something. I got a snake. I remember. I, I got... got uh, what did I get? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Wait, I can't remember. Oh, oh, no. oh, you got a turtle last last year. I got a turtle at the, at the zoo that we went to the year before, and then yeah. I don't know what I got at the. Yeah. Thing. Oh, you got that thing that you, pan pipes. The, 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 oh the, yeah, yeah, that the was playing one of pipes. Them. I think I got something else as you well. You did. You got something else, but I can't put a mind to yeah. it. I don't know what it was. That, but... they're, they're actually really, they're actually really good. They are. Yeah, they're really, they're really been like on, on the weekends, just sit down and have yeah, a block. On the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> just have yeah. a play yeah they are actually they're pretty good and uh, I, mean, I had some really good memories on that day that was a really fun day we we uh went driving went exploring in the zoo um and uh i, I think Rowan, i think i was thinking of filming the aquarium trip but it's all up to you because yeah. you've not it's up to you if you, if you want to show your face yet because uh, you could do what eli did you we could not even announce it it would just be in a, a little secret video that i do i would be like roman reveals his face it would just be a secret yeah, video that's, i think i'm gonna yeah. do it subtly as well yeah because if you just subtly appear on my channel no one will already know who you are that's what i mean exactly so you don't know it's, it's still two months away but I mean, yeah. yeah we'll see we'll see but we won't, won't get your hopes up but we're, i'm definitely thinking about filming if i can um it depends well, i need to um, i want to get one of those little mics um, what, yeah. You said you need to spruce up the podcast. What's that? What's that? Mean? Oh yes. Well, Ryan, um, we've had people writing in. Um, the podcast has been going quite well for some time, but I think we need to spruce it up. We've been, you know, the same sort of plan. We've got news of the week. Um, you know, just that is true. That is just a question. And um, yeah. because we've had this format for a while now. Because before mm. we had like the Japanese English gone wrong. Rest in peace. <laughs> You'll be missed. <laughs> that um, was that was fun. 
but Nintendo, like, Nintendo yeah. music, which turned into a series. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, like, you need. Yeah. To, you think we need a new plan? We need like, a we new. Need a we need a new plan. plan. We need a new plan. And uh, it's been two years since doing this podcast as well now, bro. And on your birthday, yeah, yeah. it marks the two year anniversary. And um, I said before we did a celebration on Christmas that kind of marks that for it. But it's been two years since we've done the podcast now, and it's like, I think. Yeah, we need to we need to spruce it up again. So I was thinking, Ryan, one little idea is is law, law behind games. We could do a law segment where Ooh, we look yeah. into the law of like a Super Mario character, and I'll get that because you're your news guy. I'll get the law each week. So, like, so we can do you think dive for yeah. the law. We can um, what's it? We can like only do like one or two news stories, and then the law. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea because then it would take up too much. Because yeah. only three news stories, because that's all we've got. Oh, it's like the podcast sort of. That's like the main. That's meat the main of the podcast, main yeah. meat and bones. Yeah, so I think we should definitely do, we'll have a meeting and see if we can spruce it up a bit. Because we had, we had a, a, a listener right in like last week saying, "Can we, you cover law into Super Mario?" I'm like, "Yeah." Can so you cover law. Yeah. Can, yeah. Can we cover law? So oh, I think, yeah, no. Yeah. What, was that the last week's question where the, you were mm. recording and then it all just went down the train? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. That, that was bad, bro. Me and Eli. That segment it, seemed so rushed. It was. Like, it you, was. You'd already yeah. recorded it. <laughs> Yeah, you already recorded it for like 20 minutes and then you just had to it was like 30 it, minutes yeah. <laughs> it was 30 minutes yeah it was be- we had like so many different conversations about how all this happened and that happened and how, then how did it your laptop run out of space it did <laughs> and we were just so annoyed and you could tell it was all rushed it, like blah, it, you get over and this pc honestly out with oh, the old man. with the new honestly. out with the old bro i'm looking <laughs> ma- come march <laughs> it's gonna be amazing this laptop's gonna be going off uh but it's the thing Right. What's your um, laptop going to be doing like come March then just sat collecting just, dust? Yeah, just give it to my sister probably or something to use. I, th- I yeah. think, to be fair, it's it's okay, but it's just bad at the moment. I think I'm taking... Oh, yeah, before we move on to the news, um, to do with this, I'm taking a break from streaming. streaming and videos. Yep, yep, streaming and videos till March. Till March. Because that's when I'm streaming... That's when my PC is up and running. The PC is sitting next to me right now, but it's got no monitor. And I've, I've got, the oh, yeah, t- yeah, I've got yeah, a TV right. in my room. I've got a TV in my room now, but... I just don't like using my TV as, as yeah, the monitor. No. So you're gonna get like a um. I've got like a like a proper gaming monitor. Mm. Like get like a decent one. Don't because I was I was like when I was naive. Like when I first got this computer, I was like, oh, the monitor doesn't matter. Like I'll just get like an old <laughs> monitor. But it absolutely do- it like, does. Like you need a monitor that has good refresh rate and stuff. Oh, a hundred percent. I've got one in mind, and I'll send it to you later if you want you can have a look and see your perspective yeah, yeah. on the like, get like a good monitor get like one that like the screen goes to like the very edge like that's what oh, i know I that's what i want because I, I want that to happen because of my graphics card because it can go up to because 4060 is over 4k oh yeah okay, I, I, I want, I, silly if you had like a beast yeah. computer and then just a school monitor yeah there. it'd be rubbish because <laughs> i want to use the graphics card to the best ability so i need to get a nice big you know proper monitor it's going to cost yeah. over 100 or something but it's worth it it's worth it at the end of the day and then i need to get a webcam which is not as much but it's very important as well yeah so i web- need a webcam as well that's another thing i've got to oh buy. yeah another thing webcam <laughs> and green screen man's got uh but the good thing is you are saving up now you've got money here's, you can here's just the save thing. Up. i know you can use like a like you yeah say, you told me you can use your phone as a webcam mm. but is that really going to be like the best i don't like doing that I, I think i tried to set it up and it was you have to download an app on the phone you have to do wires oh, yeah, you, have to like, mm. you have to download like an app on your PC and on your phone, like yeah, the same one. So it's just, it's it's too much hassle for someone like me. I don't, I like minimal stuff, minimal effort. That's what I'm like. I like minimal yeah, effort yeah. in some respects, and and that sort of thing just looks like too much. You know, too much stuff to to get along with. You know, the, connecting a camera to the PC would be a bit annoying. So that's what I'm doing. But but yeah, Ryan, yeah. another thing, last thing, I'm getting uh, back into, I'm getting back into anime. I'm nice. going, what I'm, anime are you getting back into? Well, Rowan, I've been out of anime for quite some time, and I was like, I, I, I downloaded Crunchyroll onto my Nintendo Switch. I was watching, yeah, Crunchyroll, but it's not like the top anime That's watching the site. That's probably the, like the best anime platform. It is, and I, you, I, I know probably you use it right to watch anime, right? Do you watch Crunchyroll? Yeah. 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 Do, do you do you find it so annoying when you see the same ad five flipping times? Oh, bro, <laughs> it's like the exact same one. Like, there's, like, yeah, bro, it's like the same one five times. Honestly. It's like it is bad. It, you have to wait for it but either five subs times and dubs. <laughs> It's like, boom, boom, boom. it's like some fighting yeah, Genshin roll. Impact. Like, uh, why is it like not? They should have like multiple ads. I know it, it's paid. That's the thing, like, and it's cheap. I think if you there pay. is like the, the 
the same one like that i think there's mm. more than one but like most of the time it is the same ones that just keep coming up which it is, is annoying. it is very annoying I unless think you me, pay yeah. for like crunchyroll premium which i'm not going to pay for yeah i mean Eli like, actually pays for there. crunchyroll premium i was like what on earth the bastard i mean if you're an if you're like a really <laughs> die hard anime fan like then it's yeah. probably worth it but like but Eli's not yeah. is he not He's not a die-hard anime fan. That's the thing. Like he, he even said, like I don't like it if something's too anime-ish. But then he's like watching Crunchyroll on the yeah, weekends. Yeah, he, he told me that. Look about uh, what's yeah. it, like Xenoblade or something. Yeah, like, or Xenoblade. Anime. Gen Genshin. I don't know. Gen I, I yeah, don't Genshin's know. super anime though. I don't. Anime. Eli's a mysterious man. He like oh, I yeah, don't he like. Told me I don't like anime too much. And then he watches he anime. Told me that Genshin <laughs> like in certain parts was too anime or something. Or it was either yeah. Genshin or Xenoblade. It was, uh, yeah, Xenoblade, Xenoblade. Yeah, he doesn't like how Xenoblade think two. Or the, the Xenoblade two or three gets too anime-ish. And I was like, mate, you literally watch anime. I see you on Discord, like, watching Crunchyroll. <laughs> so I'm like, what? what do you mean? But yeah, Ryan, I've been watching uh, School of the Elite. Have you seen that one? No, I've not Ooh, seen that one. I think you would like it. It's like a slice of life School slash of romance. Elite. Very nice. I love a good slice of life anime. So it's, like, it's about a guy who goes into, like... Um, he's a rich guy. He goes to school um, with a bunch of other rich kids, and there's like a, a point system, and there's like they, people get expelled, and like it, it, it's hard to explain, but it's just very interesting and uh, right. very inter It's very, very, uh, it's very. I can tell it's very fan, fan. Um, how do I, how do I put this? It's very um, fan. Fan, I don't have to explain. Just, just say the girls have got big tits, and it's it's kind of annoying. Oh god! Yeah, it's like overly it's over that, the top. That, uh, it's, yeah, I hate that. That's that's yeah. too anime, in my opinion. Yeah, it but is what, too anime. Got, like, really, where the, their body's like a, a twig, and then they've just got like like melons, like literal bursting out of the seams. Doesn't make any sense. Like if you if you're like a twig, then you, that's not going to happen. Yeah, it's obvious. It's very like, strange. Their body, their body, their body's like a in, like anime for some reason. Their body's like the thinnest it can possibly be, and then they've just got like, like bulging. Acid. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's like it's not every woman no has sense. it. There's this one character called like Karushi or something, and she's like just <laughs> it's just unrealistic no, no, no. jiggle, bro. But it, apart from that, it's just like it's a good story. It's kind of fun. It's very funny. Sales at work has none of that. Yeah, sales at, at work is pretty is good. But to yeah. be honest, Cells at Work is pretty good, but it's not like the best anime you can possibly watch. That's cause, yeah, yeah. Like, that, for a long time, that was the only anime I'd ever watched. Mm, so that was my that was my opinion of anime as a whole. But like since I've watched more, I found out that it's like not the best. So you've been you've been watching other animes as well now. You've been getting into anime. I've noticed that you've been watching anime on on I mean, down here. Yeah, not so, like the, like, not like as much. But like, it is good though. It's just I find yeah. watching anime, it just like something about it. It's just really cool. Like, I love the beauty in the game, in the other graphics of anime, how they make everything look. Graphics, yeah. It's just very nice, and I, I like how um, in most animes they have um, like a, a hidden message behind it all, and it's quite good. It's, it's quite good. Yeah. I, I do like anime. Uh, it's just I'm not a massive fan. I do watch it now and again, but yeah, I've been I've been getting back into it, bro. It's been a while since I watched anime, but. Well, my question to you is: Have you actually seen any of the OG animes, like One Whisker Away or uh, Spirited Away? Um, I don't think so. Uh, oh, these are so good, bro! They're they're really they're good. The OG, I watched. Should I watch the OGs? You should watch the OGs. Have you seen the the one that everyone watches? What's it called? I didn't see it for the longest Peace. time. Uh, oh, not One Piece. That's, that's, that, I've not seen One Piece, funny enough. Yeah, but um, you, did, you said you didn't recommend. You said you didn't recommend One Piece to me because it was yeah. like for I've, a starter I've, anime, it wasn't good. For a starter anime, it's quite confusing. No, because apparently it's got like tons and tons of episodes. One Piece, like it's really, it's to finish it, it's like days and days of watching it. Apparently, yeah, but that's why I don't like it because it's like Wait, I like to I, finish a me, series. Let me look it up right now. Yeah, Wait. I mean, there was there was actually a meme. There was actually quite good on our, on our Discord server. Everyone was like saying it. It'll be a fun challenge to try and watch all of One Piece. That alone makes me feel like it's going to be <laughs> like if oh people my are. Gosh. Oh my god! One thousand and ninety-four episodes. No, how how are you trying no to complete got, that? No one's got that much time. No one's no. got that much time. No, no one has. That's what I mean. So ongoing, like... ongoing as well. That means there's more. God. No. Do Do you like to finish a show like me? Yes. Exactly. I've got I don't, a thousand I don't. episodes. <laughs> That's why I never started Naruto either, because it's just too much. It's too much episodes. Um, so I was like, no, I don't want to watch any more. It's just too much. Too too yeah. much. Too like that's, that's why I like a certain set series. If there's anything I really like with just TV shows, it's actually Tokyo Vice. It's not a. Uh, it's not actually anime. Have you seen it? Have you seen Tokyo Vice? I've heard of it. 
Yeah. Definitely. Very good. Very, very good. I'll definitely check it out. But anyway, enough about anime. Uh, definitely go and check out School of the Elite. It's very good, Rowan. Um, what's what's in the news? What's in the news this week, Rowan? Nintendo stuff what's, now. What, what's, what's going on? News? Yeah, what's in now, the news? These are, there wasn't actually that many newsworthy stories this week, which is Ooh. so annoying when that happens. But I got what I could. You've got what so, you can. Um, no problem. Yeah. So the story one is Pokemon Presents, presents announced for 27th of February 2024. I don't know Ooh. if it's Presents or Presents. Uh, presents. I think it's Presents, presents. like gifts. Pokemon Presents, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. The next thing. Pokemon Presents showcase has been announced by the Pokemon Company for the end of the month on Pokemon Day, no less. On Tuesday, 27th of February at 6am PT, 9am EST, 2pm GMT, 3pm CET and 12am AEST, All we'll time. be getting a presentation on the latest Pokemon news over on the official Pokemon YouTube channel. It's unknown exactly what the news will be, although rumours of more Pokemon remakes have been doing the rounds. So there's no announcement on how long the presentation is either. Not long to find out, though. Pokemon Presents broadcast is traditional on Pokemon Day, the anniversary of the original Game Boy Pokemon title's Japanese launch in 1996. The news comes the morning after the announcement of a Nintendo Direct partner showcase to be broadcast this Wednesday. So I think that's that's already happened, that Nintendo Direct. Mm, and the Nintendo Direct, but, I've seen it. Have you seen the latest Nintendo is it, Direct? No, is it? That's, this, let's talk about that. Before we talk about this, let's talk about the, the Direct that just happened. Yes. I didn't watch it. Is it any good? Uh, mm, not really. Like I actually had a big scare. I saw something about, I saw something about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yes, there is a Mickey <laughs> Mouse game in it. I didn't really. I kind of skimmed through it to the end because there was a game that I, that's quite interesting. Thing, but well, I had a bit of a scare, Owen, because a viewer actually messaged me on Discord and were like, by the way, would you buy the next Nintendo console? And that, that question, there's nothing much special about that question, but that scared me into thinking that they had announced the console in the Nintendo Direct that had just launched. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, I just went on to YouTube, clicked on oh, it, it was like yeah. one, and it was like, oh, it's just, they announced like five games. That's it. And, and, oh. and one of them being Luminous Ocean, and that looks very cool. It's launching on May 2nd. So, I mean, Nintendo have mentioned that uh, it's going to look like a dry pipeline this year, but they're still they're still doing things that are quite innovative for the Switch. Yeah, but but, last yeah. episode, you said because last week you said that they're delaying the Switch till 2025. Yes, they are. And the, the Nintendo report says that it's looking like a dry pipeline for them this year. Like, there's not much, but uh, there is obviously some things I mean, going on. Yeah. Disappointing that, but like I guess it's they're just trying to make it as best as possible. Because if they that, like mm. if they're delaying it to 2025, it has to be better. Like, exactly. It has to have a hardware upgrade. They if must it be doing something. 2025 yeah. and it's just like oh switch, but just with added thing. Then that's yeah. just a, just, just like oh, another so. iPhone, isn't it? But, but what do you think? But yeah. yeah, so that direct the direct happened, and it was yeah. mediocre. It was mediocre. And nothing special. I think. It was definitely a bit of hype around it, but like, I was like, oh, it's just like four games. Definitely check it out. There's some interesting games on there. Uh, I think yeah, the, this Pokemon yeah. Presents broadcast is on the 27th of February, which is in like a few days now. And but yeah, um, Pokemon. That is, but... uh, I'm guessing they're announcing like stuff for like the future of Pokemon, which needs to change because mm. Pokemon recently has like not been the best, has it? It's not been. They've, they've been doing a lot of stuff in terms of events wise on Pokemon. That's been cool. They've been doing yeah. all sorts of events. Like Pokemon Go has been doing some events, and and it's all all sorts of things have been doing events. Uh, but the games, like the latest game on Pokemon, which is Scarlet and Violet, they've been going down in quality. And I think you know, let's just talk about Pokemon Day, bro. Twenty seventh of February comes around. It's Pokemon Day. Everyone's yeah, going it's mad. The anniversary. It's like the anniversary. Twenty five years of Pokemon. Twenty five yeah. years of Pokemon, and aren't we glad? Pokemon is probably one of the one of the biggest parts of my childhood. Amazing, love love it to bits. And to be fair, Rowan, it's like like I think the OG games of Pokemon, the best possible Pokemon games you could get. Were the very first ones on the Game Boy. You know those posts yeah, on Instagram yeah. that you see that like mentally I'm here. And it's got that Pokemon, yeah. um, like uh, the old, the, you know, the ones with all the pixels go, let's just go right back to the beginning where Pokemon started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. On the Game Boy. Those, those were the days. That was OG Pokemon. That was Pokemon that I want to play right now. You know, that's the actual Pokemon. That's the OG. So that's what I'm, that's where mentally I am with Pokemon. The latest game, yeah, I, yeah. like, I'm kind of. I don't know if I want to buy it. I will buy it because I want to play Scarlet Violet. I feel Violet. like when you play Pokemon, you feel like just peaceful. I mean, unless yeah. you play an Arceus, then there's just red yeah, eye demons just... walking around. But <laughs> nevertheless, yeah, um, this is shit. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's... 
Yeah, we already know that. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think yeah, Pokemon Day is coming up. It's all, almost a bit. Well, they're gonna they're gonna announce like that. They said like they're gonna announce like mm. it says rumors <laughs> of more Pokemon remakes. That's what I was gonna talk about. Do you think? I think that they should bring back the old Pokemon OG games to the Switch. Have they already done that? I don't know. Like oh, wait, the you very mean, like, just, yeah, they the just colored... port them or just like remake yeah. them. Re yeah, like import the 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 Game Boy Pokemon stuff. Or not like they yeah. don't change it. Like they don't remake yeah. it. Just they don't port, remake but, it because yeah. it's perfect as it is. They, they might have, port it. They might have already done that. Yeah, they might have. I don't know. They might have already done that. I'm not sure. It's just very. It's just those were the best games for me. Like, and here's the thing with Pokemon, they've kind of gone down in quality. Like the last game that was good was Pokemon Moon, I think. Like that was mid, that was mediocre. Like the it was pretty fun, I can't lie. But that was like Sonic best because it was using max amount for its console. It was like perfect, you know. It it was it wasn't glitchy or anything. But the Switch, like, it's I don't know what's happened. Like the Pokemon games now are just so glitchy. It's like we because it, yeah. what's it? Scarlet and Violet was like still like had glitches as well didn't it yeah and they kept updating it but they still like as soon as they like it's like a game of whack-a-mole when they like knock down one problem another problem problem would pop up and once they fix one issue another issue would pop up it's like they didn't yeah. patch the game properly because it's just there's constantly new glitches and, yeah, and, and they like, patched it and then like there were, i think there was a new story we read out where like there was even more glitches yeah and then they do another update so oh, we fix these issues and then another issue pops up it's like why didn't they patch yeah. their game properly like it's almost like they rushed the pokemon why, games like now Power world well like, that's the that's the thing about power world like that's why lots of people probably mm, like it because it's like it's very similar to pokemon i've been playing it actually on my mate's pc I I would, been... like i would have like that's the thing though like, i would have loved right to like honestly like get powered like and i would have if that pokemon mod was still up i would have bought the game just to play the pokemon mod oh, then 100%. Nintendo would, like nintendo, nintendo did like, like, <laughs> they're like no. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's fair or not like uh, like the pokemon mod is that fair taking it down it's there, um, like, like assets kind of. I think it. I think. I think it's just Nintendo being arsy. Like, because if you think, think about so, it, yeah. there, there's no problem with the Pokemon mod. It's just. It's just bringing more attention to Pokemon, if anything. But you know what Nintendo's like. They're never reasonable. Like, They're like, rubbish. Like Elijah said. Like, like Elijah said, if they bought a Pokemon mod to like another mm. game that wasn't Power World, they wouldn't have cared. But because Power World's similar to Pokemon, yeah, like, they wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, like, like if you, those Pokemon. Yeah. You can get Pokemon models. Like, I don't know if you've heard of the name or heard of the game Gary's Mod. Gary's mod. Uh, yes, I've heard of Gary's mod. Yeah. Like, it's shortened to G mod, right? But mm -hmm. it's like it's like a sandbox style game. You can like yeah. download assets from like the workshop and then like just put them in. Yeah. Like, there's like tons of Pokemon models on there, and Nintendo don't care about that. Yeah, and, and uh, well, also Minecraft. Um, there's also Minecraft uh, Pixelmon. Oh, yeah, Pixelmon. Pixelmon. Yeah. Yeah. That, I've been looking at that as well. That's yeah. a very fun. My mate plays that a lot. Um, and it's like Nintendo have done nothing about that. But it's like because because Nintendo are just like. Like um, circling power like a shark, they're <laughs> looking for things to like take out or like hit, and um, we'll take the necessary measures. Is what and it's says. really just nasty. Like Nintendo are just just arsy about absolutely everything. And it, it, yeah, aren't Nintendo like a monopoly at this point? They are. They definitely are. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're the fifth mafia, actually. The, the, yeah, they're monopoly mafia. The monopoly mafia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just don't like. They just want to make money. That's all they want to do, and they want to. They don't want anyone to have fun. But here's the thing. They. They just. It's just like. And you, the funny thing is, the guy that made Power was like used to be a Pokemon, like, like he used to work for Nintendo and produce Pokemon games. <laughs> so it's kind of like he's just yeah. like getting revenge on Nintendo because he's like resigned his place and gone to make his own game, which is quite funny. And, and the good thing yeah. is he's done it. He's done it very cleverly because po Power cannot be taken down. I don't think so. No, it um, can't legally be taken. Down. Yeah, because it's not actually. Like, he's done it in a certain way, so Nintendo can't actually legally take it down, which is probably pissed them off. Um, but I think I think yeah, Pokemon Day coming up. Pokemon itself is amazing. Everyone loves Pokemon. The card game, the the digital games. It's just like I'm so interested to see where Pokemon goes in the future because Pokemon now is at a medium where they're making millions, if not billions, of pounds, and it's like you know. What, what, what are they going to do next? Because they've kind of gone up and down in sales right now because the, the latest game is being very buggy. They, they've kind of rushed it because the patches just were never fixed and are not being fixed enough. And it's like, will the next Pokemon game be good? Uh, but I think, I think, to be fair, the last Pokemon game for the Switch has already been 
released. I think the next Pokemon game when it comes out will be on the next console. Yeah, yeah. Because they they they're done. They released a DLC for Scarlet and Violet, didn't you see? It was it was it Indigo or something? Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. They they released like, something for it, some DLC. Uh, I'm going to play it on stream. I'm going to get Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and check so it out. Are you excited? Are you excited for Pokemon Day? Yes. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I think I might go on Pokemon Go. Know, yeah, they like, do something on Pokemon Go, yeah. They always do something on Pokemon Go, like I might get a rare Pokemon or something. Pokemon, I love how Pokemon Go is still like, relevant, because it came out in 2016, and then that was when everyone was like, everyone was playing it. <laughs> you oh, couldn't man. escape it. You, everyone was and running I, I around. Thought, yeah. And I thought after that, everyone would just put it down, but it's still going strong. Like There's still a really large community. I still oh, it's it massive. A lot of people still play it. Uh, yeah, I've still got it. I still play it. I still check in now and again. It's, um, it's definitely gone up and down. I think... Uh, since it was released, it never really died until COVID hit. Um, and COVID hit, that oh, kind yeah. of that caused a lot of people to stop playing it. Um, but even then, uh, they they rose up again during the COVID period because um, the game company managed to uh, they, they 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 developed something within the game that allowed you to catch Pokemon without moving, and that stayed active just for COVID. And then when COVID finished, they took that off it, and you could go and look for Pokemon again. Uh, and it, yeah. I think this, with Pokemon guys, have constantly gone up and down. So it's constantly gone up and down, but it's on the up again right now because they've introduced like some new Pokemon to it. Um, they've like done this Chinese New Year event, and it's like apparently it's on the up. It's on the up. Pokemon Go is on the up again. I've been. I was walking down the street yesterday and I saw three people playing Pokemon Go, like just on their phones. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, and I've been playing it. Like, I think last week I went out on a walk in my local area just to catch Pokemon. <laughs> so it's very much yeah. still a thing. Um, and it possibly is one of the best. Pokemon graphics game ever. That's the only Pokemon game you're gonna get with good graphics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, exactly. Uh, but yeah, the man, real like, world map in it. Yeah, yeah, the real world map. I think Pokemon Go is yeah, always gonna be good. Um, Pokemon Day. Uh, I guess stuff will be revealed. Yeah, hopefully. stuff will be revealed. I mean, Things will happen. I mean, if they reveal, like they said, if they reveal games, I'm guessing it won't be on this Switch. If they, mm. oh, but uh, hang on, is that a sign though? If they, if they like say. Mm. Oh, this this new game that we're making is coming to the Switch. That mm. could be an indicator that the new Switch coming out is in still in the Switch lineup. True, that's a good point. Something I think to look out for. if they announce new, I, I doubt they're going to announce new games in Pokemon. But they might le leaks might be announced, like a new Pokemon game in the works for the new Switch. Um, that's that, yeah, that's yeah. what I can think about. But I think you know, Pokemon games are never going to stop, obviously. But like. I don't think. I think personally, apart from spin-off games, Pokemon is now finished for the this current Switch. Like you have Pokemon Unite, which is also still, and it's like they've done yeah, they've done, yeah. they've done lots of sp Pokemon spin-off games as well. Don't forget. So you got the the original Pokemon uh, Chronicles, you know, from, from Pokemon uh, Matsuit, Matsuit, Sun and Moon to you know Scarlet and Violet, Sword and Shield. You know, that's the, that's the main Pokemon games. But they've also done loads of spin-offs. So you got like uh, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Rumble, Pokemon uh, what's it? Cafe Remix. There's like so many different games that are spin-off, um, and they're free usually. They're usually free, uh, which is a very very good marketing way to get you into. I, I, I've been playing a bit of Pokemon Unite recently, you know, Rowan. Um, oh yeah. They've updated it. They've updated it. They've got Gyarados in it now. So I thought I'd give you a I might know, notice you with that. They've, they oh, I like Gyarados. Yeah. yeah, so I think me and you should go back on Pokemon Unite and start playing again. I think you used to play that a lot, didn't we? We used to play a lot yeah. of Pokemon Unite. Um, but I yeah, used to yeah. rage at it as well. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, the thing, it, that's the thing. It, it can yeah. be like, you can... What's it? Oh, especially, you know what's really annoying in the game? Is, yeah. Uh, when you get like a like a, an enemy down to like the lowest health, and someone your teammate just comes in and just hits them once and gets the kill. Yeah, that, that that's <laughs> really makes me mad. Um, yeah, I've, I've been playing. He's, he's got an offline mode, as, offline mode where you can actually like go offline and select all any Pokemon. Like you've got all the Pokemon yeah, options, which is yeah. which is a very good option. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Day. Look forward to it. One day. Look forward to it, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, What's next? This What's next? One is, uh, this one's kind of a ranting topic because Ooh. I don't agree with this. I oh, Ryan rants. Here he comes. <laughs> right. Uh, the title is, you can now buy your very own uh, Sheikah. Is that how you pronounce yep, it? Sheikah. Slate yep. from, from Zelda Breath of the Wild. Right. Mm -hmm. let, let's have a look. Now, you, a look. I think you'll have something to say about this. Yes. If you fancy yourself your very own Sheikah slate from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, then you're in luck. First four figures has revealed a replica of the tool that you can pre-order right now with delivery estimated to commence in Q1 2025. 
as with the majority of products from first four figures, though, it's not co going to come in cheap. There will be two editions of the statue available. The standard version at $479.99 and the exclusive version at $557.99. Keep in mind that these prices are for the early birds among you and will increase in a little over a month to $515.99 and $599.99 respectively. $600 for your very own... Are you mad? Is that, is, that, <laughs> is that a fair price? Is that a fair price? I don't think so. Fuck no, mate. What do you, why, why is it so highly priced? Is this, is this a glitch? I, I don't know. It's not a glitch. It's not a glitch. It was it's all going well. It was like, oh yeah, she could play it until you actually mentioned the flipping price. Like, what? A, that's just like, mate, that's, that is very overpriced. Is that, is that what you're, you're upset about? The price? Yeah. Yes. Why? It's not even gonna... an antique. No, it's 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 a it's a it's a she, like your very own Sheikah slate from Z Legend of Zelda. That's just like a Minecraft not... sword. Oh, that you can buy them for yeah. two quid off Wilco. Diamond but... sword, yeah, diamond sword, six hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no way. This is this. Why is it so expensive? Hey, look, have it a look at it. Wait, can you like try and search on like online? Well, right? I'll, ser I'll search like? online. Um, I'll search online. I think it's actually on the Discord server, like a picture of it, because it came with the yeah. new story. But I'll check that actually. Um, Zelda. Sheikah, uh, uh, Sheikah, Slate, what are we doing, uh, yeah, that's it, it's fairly new, why are they selling it for so much, um, there we go, Legend of Zelda, £464, that is, doesn't look like it's worth, are you mad, it's not that's worth that much, look, I'm looking at the picture now, that's it's, a scam. it's plastic, it's plastic. It's like plastic. I, could, I could snap that over my knee if I wanted to. You, that's a scam. That is why? a scam. Why is it? Oh, why? No, I, I, look, I understand why? if it's like an antique, or it's like old. I don't know. Like if it's got some sort of value to it. But why is it? Why is it so overpriced? What do they use like premium gold on it or something? Yeah, you can get like a, a a gaming PC for that price. Yeah, you could. You could get. Oh, well, yeah. Fair, fairly good gaming PC. Because like, the one I've got, like the one I've got, three K. At least it's not three K. <laughs> yeah, you can get, but you you can get like a like a ten fifty, like ten sixty for five hundred pound. Like, yeah. Why is it like? Why would you get this? Like, I know. Well, like, yeah. I mean, I guess it's for like the diehard fans of Zelda. But who's gonna? It look, it's plastic, right? It's not even. It doesn't even look like it's high quality. Like I make it makes sense if it's like old, right? And it's been like out for a couple of years. It's now a collector's item. You don't just like. It's like me just grabbing a, a toad plushie and being like, ah, four hundred and sixty-five pounds. Yeah, a brand like, new one. A brand new one. Yeah. It's like what? I, I, I don't. I don't know why this is a agree. thing. I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree either. Like. It, I, I don't know. Is this it, 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 a Nintendo licensed product? I don't know. It doesn't say it's by first four figures. That's the company who's made it. And apparently they make like all the yeah. other. Obviously, they must be licensed then. Well. You know how things are licensed by Nintendo? Otherwise, yeah, yeah. They, otherwise it's but illegal. Like, obviously, oh God, Nintendo doesn't need any more money, though. That's the problem. No, I don't know why they. It's just dumb. This is just stories. Just Who, yeah, but who's who's put the price on it? I need to know. Is it Nintendo or is it first? Someone. It sounds like a Nintendo uh, guy. Like you just came from a drunk night out, and he's like, blah, 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 sits down at the meeting table, and they're like, "Excuse me, uh, we got this new Zelda Sheikah plate. We're going to sell. It's made out of plastic, actually. Uh, what, what do you think we should? What price should we sell it for? And he's like, blah, 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 four hundred and sixty-five pounds. Blah, and he crashes onto the floor dead. And they're like, okay, and they yeah. just, it, it sounds that stupid. It just sounds like it's just been like it's nowhere near. It's worth nowhere near that, honestly. It's it is nowhere. That, that's 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 overpriced. There's nothing more I can really say on that apart from scam.com. People with silly amounts yeah. of money would buy that. That's it. Like I'm not buying that. Scam.com, no. honestly. Yeah, like if it was old, I understand. But if it's new, I don't know. This is strange and very annoying. Right. People's Scam wallets. Com. Scam dot com. But anyway, Rowan. <laughs> yep, she can play scams you. Do not buy it. If you not do buy it, it, don't buy it. Wait, wait, wait a few yeah. years. See if Mate, it goes down. In... No, but it, apparently, it's, <laughs> it, when it comes out first, it's going to be lower. And then as it as like as it gets older, it'll go up in price. So like in ten years, this she can play is going to be one million pounds. I'm joking. That's an exaggeration, but it's it's bad. It's a bad yeah. price. Oh, I don't know. Don't get, don't buy it. Honestly, buy yeah, don't if you're buy a Zelda it. fan. Buy another 
a replica of something. Don't buy the Sheikah plate. Don't buy the Sheikah plate. You don't need it. It it's must not, be. It, it must be really good. Like... It must be like bulletproof or something. So when you're like getting the police come round if you're doing drugs and they, they come to arrest you, you get the Sheikah plate and go. Bah! Don't do it. Attack. Looks like it's, it literally looks like it's made by Fisher Price. Like, yeah. It looks like plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does look like that though. It not it doesn't look like it's not using metal or anything. It's just yeah, I don't know. Very very. Yeah, then I then I would sort of understand if it was using like high quality like like materials. It's but like Fisher that, Price. Like, even that's like, yeah. Very bad. Don't don't buy this Sheikah plate. Don't do it. But anyway, what's not next? Uh, get lost, that's... Sheikah plate. Yeah, last story. Um, I'm I'm actually I'm actually buzzing about this. It's Ooh. Sega's upcoming Crazy Taxi revival will apparently be a triple A game. Oh, triple A game. And, uh, by the way, I like how they're calling it Sega and not Gender Go Guy or whatever. Yeah, no one likes that name, Gender Guy Go. Guy Go, yeah. Flipping it. <laughs> Sega, it's Sega. It'll always it's, be Sega. It's anyway. be Sega. Yeah, you go. Anyway, at the Game Awards last year, Sega revealed it would be reviving a handful of classic franchises for modern platforms. If you are wondering just how impressive these titles might be, it seems the third-party publisher and developer could be going all out. During a chat with the Japan Times, the team at Sega's relatively new Sapporo... How do you say that? Sapporo. Sapporo. Okay. Studio mentioned how it was participating in the development of AAA titles, including Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi was part of Sega's original Legacy Revival announcement, which also includes the return of Jet Set Radio, Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, and Shinobi. Several other games also appear to be on the way. Right now, Sapporo Studio isn't working on any titles independently, but does intend to do so in the future. It was originally founded in December 2021 during the pandemic and is led by Takaya Sega, Sega, S- Segawa. Know, Takaya Segawa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm happy Ooh. about this because Crazy Taxi is one of my favourite games. I've got it on the GameCube, right? Crazy and, Taxi. Um, yeah, what is you it? Seen it? I've heard no, of so it. What do you do? Um, it's like a, you like basically like it's Crazy Taxi, right? So you mm-hmm. you start off um like you're yeah. in a taxi obviously, obviously. like you're yeah. driving a taxi and then you like these these people like waiting on the side of the roads and you can pick people up yeah and then take them like where like you want but there's a timer so you have to get there like really quick so you have to and, like, like you, you, yeah you can, like, earth, wind in, and fire yeah you can like crash into people and stuff it you can like it's, <laughs> it's really fun honestly so it's like, like, like taxi can, gone rogue that doesn't sound like a taxi driver it sounds like taxi being held hostage but, but like, the funny thing what is, is what is can, that like, go, you can like you like you like you have to get to like basically get from point A to point B like as fast as possible using whatever means are necessary. So like you, but that's the point of the game is like to like just go haywire. Like you take the fastest route possible, even if it means driving through the park that all the kids are playing on. It sounds like a fucking nightmare. It's <laughs> really fun. All the gentle taxi ride. It's like imagine imagine imagine, imagine, imagine like... actually that is actually real. Like you, oh excuse me, I need to go to Belgrave or something. You get inside the taxi and the taxi, the taxi driver's like no problem and it's like. Like smashes into yeah, six cars, goes through the bushes, Be breaks the law, and just gets you to your destination on time. That is a taxi driver yeah. I would take. That's what I want. Exactly. Someone... And to be fair, and yeah. to be fair, like it's um, it is very arcadey. Like it's not realistic. It's like yeah. it, it's not like got blood and stuff in it. If it was realistic, then it would be terrifying. But the I mean, thing is, it's is more that, fun. Um, it's like carnage. Just I'm, like let's just drive. I mean, I'm glad, commit I'm acts of terrorism to get the, 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 the taxi. Like, yeah. Like, um, I, I've, I've been wanting a remaster for this for ages, and lots of other people have as well. So, yeah. But they're also bringing back um, Streets of Rage as well. I heard that's a good one. Streets of Rage. Shinobi. Shinobi's great as like well. Really, yeah, really Shinobi's popular lovely. games are coming like in remasters. Mm. So that's perfect. That's I, think, good, yeah. I love it when they they always. Do, cause it's almost like I hate it when a game a company forgets the the OG games that kind of made them them they made the company who they are today because of their og games so when they recognize that they're like oh yeah these these games we're remastering them it's almost like they're they're telling us we've not forgotten about those games and we can remaster them for you yeah. to enjoy them all over again it's very very good i like it when they do that sega's always been i've always had a soft spot for sega you know they've always been a great company uh but yeah i, th- I think it's awesome that you can now play crazy taxi uh which is oh, just not, not yet but the, like, not, so not yet but yeah remaster. the picture the picture they gave looks really nice it's like a yeah. proper hd because if you look up the original crazy taxi the, the graphics really haven't aged well because oh, they're no, all like yeah. blocking and stuff. But so if it's getting a remaster, that's a pretty good thing. That's that's the taxi driver I want. Someone who's going to get get me Absolutely. to my destination with no limits. Like he he won't care if the, <laughs> if the lights are red. <laughs> he will smash into the. Oh lights. yeah, no, you don't stop for red lights. No. <laughs> oh no, hell no! Oh, You've cool. got to get there on time. That's that's what I need. I'm fed up of getting into taxis that are slow. 
Why, why isn't all my taxi drivers crazy? Also, if you get also if you get an Uber, it's like thirteen quid. Oh man, Uber's expensive. Yeah, you ever got an Uber before? Like, yeah, I got, yeah. An Uber to, I got an Uber to college like a few weeks ago, and it, it, it yeah. was like thirteen quid. I was like, what? They, are they ever really chatty? Do you find they like, ever like talk about absolutely everything and um, everything? Person oh, I was didn't. He was silent the whole way. It was quite awkward. And then, but the thing is, <laughs> at, at the end, at the end, he he, he said thank you to me. Oh, uh, thank of, you. Of, <laughs> thank you for being the passenger. <laughs> is it, thank you for, for like making making me take you to the this college. Thanks. For, I mean, I guess he was thanking for the for the money. Actually, I guess probably. probably. I think That's no. Thanks I, for giving me money. I remember I was drunk. I, I came out of a friend's party. I was drunk. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I got like an Uber. Uh, I got into the Uber. I was, I was I was drunk out of my mind, and the guy was like, "Hey, so how you doing?" And I was like, oh, "I'm drunk, man. party." And there was like, "Oh, what? But what was the party?" I was like, man, "18 year old." Oh. And he was like, "Why oh, really?" You, why, but why is he doing that? Why is he asking <laughs> you like really questions when like you're absolutely drunk? yeah? Well, I was. You could tell I was. I was completely gone. I was off my rockers, and he was just like, "Yeah." And he was like, and then he tried just. T telling me all about how his motorbike broke because like, oh my motorbike oh, broke no. last week and I was like really uh, yeah but he like, like, does he not realise that when you're drunk you can't actually absorb any of the information that he's yeah. telling you <laughs> I know <laughs> I couldn't absorb anything he was saying all I could absorb was just the alcohol in my system that was making me more drunk by the second and he was just talking about yeah. motorbikes and how they're dangerous and I was like oh, yeah dangerous. yeah I was just like trying to agree with him like through like very blurry vision, I was like, "Yeah, motorbikes are bad," and he was like, "Yeah, yeah," and then he used to asking me, "Also, where do you live?" I was like, "Where you flipping driving me to, mate? What do you think?" I don't exactly. know. It was just very, very awkward, and like, I, I don't, I don't really like talking to taxi drivers because then if I'm sober, it's just kind of awkward when they start talking because then you feel like you have to fill in the silence like yeah, if, if yeah. they're like, "Oh, so where are you from?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm from London," and they're just like, "Cool." It's just silence. It's like, oh, okay. Now I need to feel the silence again and say something. So it's better if they're just silent the entire way and just do their job and just drive. I, it, I guess some people are just friendly, I guess, but not when you've had a night out. You don't really want someone just talking to you oh, off yeah. about everything. But, but yeah, crazy taxi. I just <laughs> definitely, crazy taxi. Definitely good. Uh, I'm very happy Nintendo works closely with them. Uh, Sega's probably given Nintendo a lot of their success, actually. With literally nearly all the Sega games have been on Nintendo anyway, so I think it's a hundred percent good stuff, man. I think it's great. Remasters games. Let's hope, let's hope they remaster Pokemon games as well. OG Pokemon games. You want to see that come to the Switch as well, aside from Sega. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. Anything well, else you want to say on that? Uh, no, I think I've summed it all up. Yeah. We'll get to an ad break before we answer the question. Yeah. So we're gonna have a quick ad break now, and we're back with your questions of the week. Ad break. Sorry to interrupt the episode, I'm Rowan Fern, the co-host of this podcast. If you're a regular listener to our podcast, you would know that me and Judah love to hear from our community. Every single week, we read out your comments and questions on the podcast. One viewer wrote in telling us how they found their wife directly through the popular 3DS game, Pokemon X. Bloody hell, you don't hear that every day. You can become that viewer by writing into our podcast email, jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. That is jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. I know all of you hate ads, so on with the show. And we're back from the ad mm. break. My brain just lagged. Uh, but there we go. We're back from the ad break. Lovely, lovely ad. ad. Lovely, lovely ad. ad. Yeah. Rowan's voice. Loved it. Uh, but yeah, questions of the week. Uh, this week, we have a question in from Mark. And Mark has said... Uh, hey Judah and Rowan, question is if you get rid of if you could get rid of one gaming company, what would it be and why? Many thanks. Mark from Sweden. Uh, oh, that is a good question. That is a good question. There are there are there's some great right. gaming companies. Now, one thing. Wow. Does he mean like just Nintendo, Microsoft, or does he mean like the Pokemon company and stuff like like deeper Ooh. into it like that? What do you I think? Guess he means any any. Yeah, any, just, yeah, any just any. I think I think gaming Every companies. Of one gaming company. The three biggest are obviously Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, but Xbox is kind of going down the drain, so Microsoft may not be no more after a few years, sadly. Yeah. Um, oh, if I could get rid of one, though. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really mind if PlayStation went out of fizz. Oh, be because. Controversial. Yeah, because I don't play PlayStation, you can play everything no, on I Xbox. Do. True, true. Yeah, but Xbox is crumbling as well, so then then Xbox will go, and then they'll just be Nintendo. Oh yeah, I mean, of course, I'm not going to get rid of Nintendo. That's just no. I mean, you can't. I would, but you, then this podcast would be no more. <laughs> nah, you can't say that because Anastasia's on that. You can't. 
get rid of but, Nintendo. Okay, I'll get rid of the higher ups of uh, Nintendo then. Yeah, like if you think when it, when it is remove one company, it means everything. The games will be gone. Imagine you could do that. Everything oh, will be gone. No. Everything's deleted. Like I'd say, I'd say Xbox then, because they're already on the brink of death. Really? So you actually you get rid of it. So when, say you could get rid of Xbox completely, nothing would be playable anymore. It'd be gone. It was like it never existed. That's the thing. Oh, that's a, is that is that actually the thing? Oh my god. Yeah, that's hard. it is hard. It wouldn't be Nintendo. I don't honestly, know. <laughs> I would never choose Nintendo because I, I don't know they're bad. But wait, does it mean does it just mean the big three then, or is it like deeper? It must be deeper. It must be... Let's go deeper. Okay, yeah, let, let's do two me. options. Let's do big three, and then let's do others, like Sega, whatever. Other small companies, like Pokemon Company, whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, with the three... Okay, which three, I guess? Out of Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony, which one would you get rid of? It's going to have to be Xbox, because I like PlayStation. I play PlayStation yeah. the most. I love, mm. I love Nintendo, so and I've got an Xbox, which is that's the bad thing. I've got I'm I'm on every side. I'm neutral. Yeah, you're on every side. Yeah, but, so it's the choice of what um, you don't like much. I think I think Xbox. No, I love. That's the thing. I like it. I like all of them. Yeah, I know it's a hard question, but I like. I guess. Um, if, if I guess had... I'll have to choose Xbox. Like because I like because yeah. PlayStation I've had since like 2017, so I've got Fair. more nostalgia for it. Fair enough. I think I would choose PlayStation because Fair. I like Xbox better than PlayStation, and I. just don't like PlayStation, uh, but I think yeah. Out of those three, I would choose PlayStation. Uh, Nintendo, of course. There's no. This is podcast on Nintendo. We don't want Nintendo to shut down. Um, yeah. Uh, now for other companies, uh, there's so many. Um, Pokemon uh, Company. Uh, no, no, not the Pokemon Company. I'm just listing them. Yeah, yeah. Could you could you That's search up what else some companies? What? Okay, hang on. Let me. Yeah. I'll just search them up. Yeah. And yeah. Search, them. search at some companies and list them, and then we'll just choose one that's relevant. <laughs> there's got to be. So, there's got to be one that we just don't want to know about. Oh my gosh. There's. Hang on. There's got to be lo loads. Ubisoft as well. I just thought of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait. Hang on a minute. Um. There's EA, Activision Blizzard, Ubisoft, Ooh. Epic Games, Capcom, Game Freak, Sega, yeah. Take Two Interactive. Amco, so like, yeah, stuff like that. I think I'll choose. Oh, to get rid of. Oh, one of these. Yeah, one of these. One oh. of those. Oh, I, I think I. I think I know what I, I'm picking. What are you gonna pick? EA. EA. So, e EA. EA are so greedy. Like they're the greediest game company in the world. The EA Sports. Or, or yeah. But EA's got FIFA, and I play FIFA. Crap. Yeah, that'd uh, be no more FIFA. Oh wait, Activision, Activision Blizzard, I'd say, because yeah. Activision Blizzard, what they do is they just bring out a new Call of Duty every year that's the exact same as the last one. I don't so, play COD. I, I don't really play COD, I, but I, I, I've been getting into COD recently because of my mate, so I wouldn't get rid of Activision. I think I would get rid of Take Two, whatever it was. Take Two. Take Two Interactive. Yeah. What games? Have, what games what have do they, they made? What do they make? That's I'll, what I think. I'll, I'll I think I've up. seen them before, but it's just not. Yeah. Take two interactive games. Yeah, take two interactive Order games. Borderlands, Bioshock, Grand Theft Auto, NBA 2K, oh, Red Dead right. Redemption. Oh, they they make a lot of stuff. Uh, mm. Yeah, main, the main ones are like GTA. Like, so GTA 6 would be. Oh, yeah, GTA 6 would be gone. Yeah, take two I think interactive. So. I think that's. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is hard. There will be Sega. I love Sega. There will be Pokemon Company. Bandai Namco, no. And Bandai Namco is a great, great company. Oh, man. Game Freak's good. They made Monster Hunters. I think you've got... I don't think you've got uh, any reason to not choose EA. Because you don't play anything made by EA, do you? Yeah, I would say EA then. Because you pay... Yeah, okay. My choice is yeah. EA. I think that. I'm not take two because I like GTA, yeah. I, EA, I'll take them. Um, so what would you choose? On, let, me let me first look. At the minute, I'm leaning towards Activision Blizzard, but... Mm. Um, let me search up some of their games. This is a good question, Mark. <laughs> You've got us thinking. I only, you know them. Yeah. I only know them from uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. Uh, Diablo, don't play that. Overwatch, Call of Duty, Warcraft, Crash Bandicoot. Heart yeah, I, yeah, I'm getting rid of these. They don't, they don't make anything that I play. <laughs> no, Crash Bandicoot <laughs> shit anyway. No, who likes Crash Bandicoot? Oh, yeah. Crash ba they make Crash Bandicoot. They made Spyro as well. Do you know what Spyro no, is? No, yeah, Spyro is pretty Spyro. No. It's like that. Oh, that dragon. Yeah. yeah, I've not played it. Not pl I don't want to. But uh, yeah, they don't. They don't make anything that I I like. So, so I'm just choosing Activision. Activision, and but for it, me, it's EA. Fair enough. Oh, I think we've that's successfully answered that question. He did. He did. He did like crack us a bit though. I can't lie, Mark. That was definitely got us thinking. Got our thinking caps on on a yeah. Saturday. Very good. Uh, but yeah, Mark from Sweden.
thanks for the question. Very good question. If you want to be like Mark, don't forget to send in your questions to JRSGaming135 at gmail.com. But yeah, Ryan, yeah. it's been a good it's been a good uh, good run. Been a good episode this week as Absolutely. usual. Absolutely. I think by next week we should definitely have a new plan up and running as well. So we'll definitely probably yeah. talk about it next week, get something going. But yeah, but until then, please send your questions and comments to JRSGaming135 at gmail.com. Please subscribe or follow us on whatever platform you're listening from and leave us a five and leave us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or wherever you, or wherever you get your podcasts. And this will help us out greatly and get the podcast around. Our socials will be in the description below, our Instagram, YouTube, web Twitter, website, and our Discord server where you can talk to me and Ryan personally. But until then it's goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. And by the way, this was season two, episode eight. I've got to say it at the beginning. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Bye bye then.